Welcome to Flashpoint Friday, a weekly series where I select one game at random from Flashpoint's archives and give it a try. And maybe, just maybe, the game might actually be spooky. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome back to Flashpoint Friday and today we have a game called Haunted Cemetery Escape from MeltingMinds.com created by Self Deviant. Uh, I checked out the website as per usual. It is still up. It has a lot of games. Uh, just glad you guys know up front this is probably going to be the scariest game by far for this Halloween month, I suppose it's appropriate to finish it off. Why, you may ask? Well, let's just call it a hunch, based off of the title of this game. You went to sleep after having a bad day. All of a sudden, you woke up trapped inside of a haunted cemetery. Is this a nightmare, or is it real? Look around, try to figure out how to escape, and find out. Okay. Yeah. Remember how I said this was going to be the scariest game by far this month? Yeah, that's not because of the subject matter here, a haunted cemetery, but because of the genre, as you could probably guess by the title and gameplay so far, this is another escape the room type game, and I've only played two others so far in this series, but neither one of them have been have been enjoyable experiences, so I can't say that I have high hopes for this one, but let's just continue though. I'm not gonna pass judgments too, I'm not gonna try to pass judgment too quickly. I mean, who knows? This game might actually be a cut above the other two. Um, I will say this right off the bat. I do like its uh, means of navigation better. Um, this feels more like an actual place rather than just a mishmash collection of PNGs and JPEGs slapped together like the other ones. And this one actually provides some hints. This lid is too heavy, so I need to find need to find something to move it. It's almost a bit reminiscent of like a like an old an old school point and click adventure, like say Mist or something like that. I know it's probably nowhere near the pedigree of quality, but the gate is locked. Yeah, I suspected as much. Hmm. Okay. So so far I've found three items. I suppose I should, I suppose I I suppose I should maybe start uh, trying to uh, use these on various items and locations. So it's telling me the properties of these locks on the gates. They said the main gate was gold. They said this one is bronze. I'm not sure if that has any particular bearing, as well as missing a handle. Can I use the ladder to climb down the well? No. Bone's probably not going to work. Gem's probably not going to work either. I mean, this does appear to be functional at least, which is, I think, the last Escape the Room game, I think, had, like, genuine, like, like it was genuinely unplayable due to uh, issues with either the game itself or the emulation. It's too heavy. Find something to help move it. I mean, can I use the bone as a... no. <laughs> that would be probably kind of silly. Hmm. Alright, so... Yeah, I mean, I'll give him some credit for this. This is more 
well thought out and then the other escape the room, you know. Once again, though, I gotta say, it's the third quote-unquote escape the room game I've played, and there's no room to escape from. I'm outdoors. Uh, now, admittedly, I am kind of... I am fenced in here, but what's to stop me from conceivably vaulting the fence or vaulting the gate and escaping that way, but gameplay concessions, of course. You could honestly levy that complaint at a lot of point-and-click adventures games. You see, like, a, a small obstruction. It's like, well, why can't I just vault over that or jump over that and such, but, well, what can you do? I don't know, though. I've only found the three items. I've been looking around. Doesn't seem to be much else for me to interact with so far. Mouse and all over the place. Let's see, what does this do? Well, since the website seems to still work, I can at least maybe see if the walkthrough is available. Okay, I'm back. Uh, so I tried clicking both walkthrough and help, and it does take you to the website, but the walkthrough is either, it's either not there or it doesn't load properly. Might have to do with the fact that, it, that Flash is no longer supported online and such, so unfortunately I can't avail myself of it, so... Because a part of me thinks that maybe I'm giving these Escape the Room games a bit too much flack, because I'm not, like, consulting a walkthrough and such, but... If the walkthrough isn't there anymore, there's not that much I can do. One of these days, hopefully, there will be an Escape the Room game that catches my interest to the point where I want to play through it more, or at least progress, but I don't know. I feel like I'm missing something here, but everything that I try doesn't seem to work. I've only found the three pickups. And there doesn't seem to be anything else lying around for me to add to my inventory. I looked at the skeleton. Oh, wait, what does it say? Yes, there's a bone missing. Ah. He placed the missing... Oh, okay, all right. All right, so we've, we've made some progress. What do you know? Okay, I locked his bronze. They probably want me to use bronze key. Okay. Some sort of combination to open that treasure chest. Well, the fact that I made a little bit of progress, um, it's more than I can say for the other two Escape the Room games that I've tried. I suppose this game is, uh, you kind of have to get more into the mindset of, like, playing those old-school point-and-click adventure games where you can't be too impatient. Sometimes you just gotta really be thorough and such. But for first impression videos like this, uh, yeah, I realize that might lead to some boring footage, so I'm not going to subject the viewer to all of the time spent with the guesswork and trying to figure out where everything goes and, and all that, and all that jazz. Oh wait, here we go. Key heart swirl. Okay. So, key heart swirl. Alright, that worked. You found a potion. 
All right. So what can I use this potion? Or how can I use this potion? Rather. Um... The soundtrack is uh, appropriately moody and spooky for a haunted cemetery. Those occasional uh, noises you hear are actually part of are actually part of are actually part of the music score. Gives you the unsettling feeling that something is stalking you, that sort of thing. But. And the loop is pretty generous in its length before it loops back around to the start. So, yeah, you know, I wasn't expecting this, but this seems to be a cut above the other Escape the Room games. So, color me pleasantly surprised, or at least not, or at least not disappointed or exasperated like I was with the other games. Oh wait, I totally missed this, didn't I? Ah, crowbar. Okay, so I think that's gotta go with this casket here, I think. Okay, yeah. Iron key. Okay. Well, maybe I'll find where this iron key goes to and then maybe I'll stop it there, because I think we have a we have a decent idea. Okay, so we're in... We're in a completely new area now, even, inside of the chapel. Of an old book. Okay, alright. Candles. Hmm. You can presumably light it with something. Alright, well... I don't want to spend too much time with this, but you know what? This actually isn't too bad. Um, yeah, who would have thunk it? Um, and Escape the Room game, although it's not technically a room, but that notwithstanding. And Escape the Room game that's actually not too bad. So, what do you know? So what is Haunted Cemetery Escape? It's an Escape the Room flash game, and it's actually better than I thought it was going to be. Um, it's not fantastic, but I like the presentation, I like how it feels like you're actually walking around a cemetery, rather than just a bunch of disconnected pictures. I like how the art style is consistent. Um, yeah, it's kind of reminiscent of old classic point-and-click adventure titles. So if you're a fan of those sort of things, this might be worth a try. So. Wasn't expecting to find a, a good Escape the Room game, much less a Halloween-themed one, but just goes to show, don't judge a game by its title screen, I guess. <laughs> so, I think I'll end it there, though. So, thank you for tuning in to this episode of Flashpoint Friday, and take care, everyone. <laughs>